Hello everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Undertale. I started it here because I thought this was pretty cool. And Sons and Papyrus so now on the title screen as well. Off to the side. <laughs> and Sans has that little winky face on. Anyways, so last episode we fought and we hung out with Papyrus and we learned that I forgot to go through the title. So much faster. We learned that if you attack Papyrus first and then try to flirt with him, in, instead of dating, you just hang out afterwards if you, if you just continue along with the past this route and um, spare him. Which was great. It was amazing and awesome. And I loved it. Anyways, so we're moving on to the next part of the game with Undyne, which I'm, I'm pretty sure we will see Undyne in this episode. I don't think we'll make it far enough to begin the fight with her. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, kid. It's, oh, I should have I should have talked to the Echo Flower first. Dang it! I'm so stupid! Why did I talk to the Echo Flower first? It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. I mean, I could go back to. Alright. What do you have to say, Echo Flower? All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. <laughs> Too bad, dude. I know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. <laughs> uh, so, so, so you say something different when you when you talk to him first, but if versus if you talk to the Echo Flower first. <laughs> the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. <laughs> hey, Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going grubbies. Wanna come? Yeah, I'll come. Oh, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. You're the one who invited me, man. Over here, I know a shortcut. I love fans. It's one of my favorite characters. He's like, up, up here. <laughs> In my favorite list. Short, fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi. <clears throat> hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, ya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here before breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. I'll be right back. I need pressure. <laughs> anyway. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? I'm going to take fries. I like fries better myself. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, I'll have a double order of fries. Ah, oh, he has got a comb. <laughs> so, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. <laughs> He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely have to. Oh well, at least he washes it. Hey, well, he actually took it off while you were hanging out. You know, he was wearing different clothes. <laughs> By the, that, I mean, he wears it in the shower. 
<laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Ah, I not really like ketchup person. Thank you though. More for me. <laughs> he just drank the entire bottle of ketchup. <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let, her be, let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Serious time. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? You mean flowery. I, I definitely know you mean flowery here. <laughs> so, you know all about it. Yeah, I do. The echo flower. Well, I know the echo flower, yes, but there's also flowery. I'm pretty sure you know flowery who, who flowery is, Sans. Or you suspect, anyway. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. It's definitely flowery, and you should definitely be concerned about that. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? But why is flowery doing that with saying these things to Papyrus? That's the question. What goal does Flowey have talking to Papyrus? Just to gain his trust so he could use him to gather everybody in the same place? Hmm. Is that, is that the whole reason why Flowey talks to Papyrus? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Flowers appeared out of nowhere. I don't think echoes appear out of, echo flowers appear out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure they stand still. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Sans, you haven't eaten your fries. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. You're the one who invited me along, Sans. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G for two orders of fries. I don't know if I believe you. Just kidding. Grill me, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Alright. Well, let's continue on then, shall we? <laughs> that was fun. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm seriously wondering if the whole thing at the end with, in the true pacifist ending, if that's the whole reason why Flowey talks to Papyrus periodically. To have my mouse on the screen and I forgot to move that. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Let's hang out again sometime. Let's. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. 
Why would you, though? Can't use items while they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hider. Let's go down here. Swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. The camera, you say. Probably Alfie's. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. I will take the snowman piece back out because it's. I'm supposed to be carrying that around the world and stuff. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, hey. This part. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. Oh, <clears throat> I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Uh, did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Uh, well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but Undyne, you don't ha have to de destroy them, you see. You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna touch anything. Pretty sure I... Uh, can I even touch anything? No, I can't, can't even touch anything. Yeah. Uh. Kind of gramp cramping a little bit. Oh, no, not bad enough to do the human thing for it. It's just enough to be uncomfortable. Anyway, moving on. Oh, hey, monster kid. Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> come on, come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Okay. So, there, there's a monster kid in Snowden with a little bow. And this, this monster kid doesn't have a bow, which means they're two different monster kids. <laughs> A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. All right, let's just go forward. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. All right. Okay. Come on. Here, Aaron. I remember what to do for you. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for both of you. Flexing contest. Okay. More flex. Oh. Uh, I. I was focused on the reading of my incident. Uh. Okay. Let's pay attention to this. You flex harder. Place is twice as hard. Nice! I won't lose though. Is this your sweat? <laughs> you 
flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Bravo, Aaron. I didn't know that was even possible. To flex oneself out of a room. I'm pretty sure it's got to be something over this way, right? Otherwise it wouldn't Let's see. Oh, it does stop. I was pretty sure I wasn't 100% sure. I'm pretty sure there's something this way. There's, there's borders along the edge where there's not a path, like right here. And there's not a border over here. Aha! There's a lone quiche standing underneath this bench. Is this the quiche that stands? Do you take it? Yes. You got the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. The responsibility of making a quiche? Abandoned quiche. Kills 34 HP. A psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Aw, oh, the poor spinach egg pie. Wait, but I thought Papyrus said that the quiche sands made was filled with sugary substance. Spinach egg pie. A spinach and egg isn't a sugary feeling. Anyways. I want to do this in a way not done. But I don't think that there is a not done. I think there's only two possible ways. And Jack did one and and Mark did the other. I wasn't... They tuned back in to fully watching Mark at this point and he went down to the bridge. Because when I was watching Mark I didn't always have the ta tab open. I uh, had it in the background. Oh, I haven't finished watching this playthrough. I know he's gotten to this point because I tuned in at one point and he was here and he did the lily pads. Hello, is it Papyrus? How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? I, I was wearing a bandana when I was hanging with you. You should know that. So, on papyrus. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. So, I know he's hinting that we should change our... Change our uh, clothes. So... Um, I'm going to go back to, hello, I didn't know you popped up here. I knew you follow us. I didn't know here was, this was one of the places you flower. Okay, saw that, right? Yeah, I saw that, right? Sorry, you popping up there. I knew you showed up if you went back. He should have been there when I went back from, um, after fighting Papyrus, too. Because I remember that's where Jack first showed, noticed him. Why am I, there we go. Anyways. Let's go back to the box. Change clothes. There's probably going to be a box in the next room, and I'm going to end up regretting going back this far. Let's 
because I'm pretty sure, yes, I still have bandage. Actually, to take a tough glove. Wow. I'm gonna put put the snowman piece back in. Then items. Bandage use. Ew. Oh, the bandage isn't armor anymore. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so I don't have anything I can change into. Dang it. That was a waste of time. That was a waste of time. Wait, that's not where I put that. That's not where I put that. I put that up here. What the heck? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wonder if that's the monster kids talking. Wash your ass, chef, what's up? Wash your ass, you like clean stuff. Hops around excited, like, green means clean. Ah! Oh, come on. Oh, she has friends with a little bird. Okay, I only need to do it once. One! I wish my sister would see the real star someday. Wait. No, those are two girl sisters. Okay. Look through the telescope. Yeah. Check wall. Very conveniently placed note there. Did Sans do that for us? Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. If your stars are just gems in the ceilings, and they're never going to change. <laughs> Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with an unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. But I want to see the drawing. Why can't I see the drawing? I wonder if anyone's made any interpretations of that. Strange creature. Unsettling strange creature. I'm not even pressing anything. I'm just walking to the platform and moves forward apparently. 
Mm. And then it's gonna be here. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I wanted to do this next episode. Wait. Wait. I died. Wait. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Ah. Fuck. Ah. 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 That's crazy. No. 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 Please, no. Ow. Ah! 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 No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. If I get hit one more time, I'm gonna die. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please don't kill me, Undyne. I made it. <laughs> I made it. I think I made it. Hey. Just because my house solo that she'll get me instead of Monster Kid. I don't know. Okay, she still pulled up Monster Kid. Um, there you are. Did you see that? And I just touched me! I am never washing my face again! Man, are you unlucky. If you are standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. You need to be more careful, kid. <laughs> Let's see, what do you say? Squeak. You say squeak even before I hit the mouse hole. Man, Miss Cheese has been here so long, the magical crystal has grown around it and stuck to the table. Squeak, 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 squeak. Alright, knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mysterious crystal, it fills you with determination. Alright. I'm going to call this an episode here, and I will pick this up in the next one. In the meantime, though, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, keep it real and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!